Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. On a monitor, all images must be displayed in pixels on screen. So before you can manipulate the images, you must learn more about how pixels are displayed and measured. When an image is displayed on your monitor, it is rendered according to the pixel dimensions of the graphic and the display settings and size of your monitor. The image's pixel dimensions are the width and height of the image in pixels. The number of pixels displayed in an image is measured in pixels per inch, or PPI. Generally speaking, the higher the PPI, the higher the quality of the image. The digital size of an image, usually measured in kilobytes, megabytes, or gigabytes, is proportional to the pixel dimensions of an image. Images with a higher PPI may have a higher resolution and may produce greater detail when printed, but they may also print more slowly and take more disk space for storage. The photo editor supports a maximum pixel dimension of 30,000 by 30,000 pixels per image. You can make adjustments to the size of an image by using the Image Size dialog box. To access this dialog box, choose Image, Resize, Image Size from the menu bar. The current pixel dimensions of the image appear in the Pixel Dimensions section. In either the Pixel Dimensions or Document Size sections, enter the desired height and width into the Height and Width text boxes shown. Then use the adjacent drop-downs to select the units of measurement for the values that you entered. To change the resolution or PPI, enter the desired resolution into the Resolution field and then select the unit of measurement for the resolution from the adjacent drop-down. If you want to resample the image when resizing it, check the Resample Image checkbox. Then use the Adjacent drop-down to select the method of resampling to apply. When resampling an image, if you increase the image size, you add new pixels to the image. These new pixels will be added based on the color values of existing pixels in the image. You can generally resample down and not lose image quality. However, resampling up or adding pixels often results in an image that is a bit blurry. For the methods of interpolation that you can select from the drop-down, you can choose nearest neighbor, which is fast but of less quality than the other choices. You can select by linear, which results in a medium quality image. Use by cubic, which is the default, for a slow but more precise resampling method. You can also set the bicubic sampling to favor producing a smoother or sharper image by selecting either bicubic smoother or bicubic sharper. To scale any styles applied to the image when resizing, you can check the Scale Styles checkbox. To adjust the height and width independently of one another when resizing, you can uncheck the Constrain Proportions checkbox and then enter the new values into both the Width and Height fields. To maintain current image proportions instead, simply leave the Constrained Proportions checkbox checked to automatically change the height or width of the image if you change one of those attributes when resizing. When you have set your image size options as you wish, click the OK button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.